Did you know there is a secret ability that Miles Morales can get in Spider-Man 2, and you can easily miss it. But the best part is, you can actually get this at the beginning of the game, and it is incredibly powerful to be able to get. It actually involves Miles Morales' invisibility, and what happens is, is when you go invisible, you can actually empower your first punch when coming out of invisibility, allowing you to do extra damage and stun enemies. It's actually really powerful, and I definitely recommend doing it. Now, if you use invisibility a lot, this is incredibly useful, but what's great is you'll notice that now while we're invisible, if we hit this guy, we're going to do an empowered hit, which does a lot of damage, especially against larger enemies. It can stun them and allow you to get an opening to be able to defeat them even easier. Now, it might not sound like the best bonus ability, but it can come in really handy when fighting these larger targets, because they can be quite a bit of a pain. But to be able to get this, you can do it right at the beginning when playing as Miles Morales. You just need to do the mission where you have to go talk to his uncle, Aaron, which is going to introduce you to unlocking Prowler stashes within the game. You can use these Prowler stashes to get a bunch of items, XP, as well as this special ability. Now, thankfully, these stashes are pretty easy to find. They have a giant glowing purple thing around the building that you need to go to. And the first stash you'll be able to acquire when you talk to Uncle Aaron at the beginning of the game as Miles Morales. Now, other than that, the first one that we're going to go over is in downtown Brooklyn at the bottom right corner of the map. If you head to this location near these two bridges, on top of this building, you're going to be able to acquire the second stash. Now, make sure that you are doing this as Miles Morales. If you get to this location as Peter Parker, you can just quickly switch to Miles and will show up at the exact same location as well so it's kind of nice how you can do that and just as with all of these prowler locations you just need to use your scanner to look for the different puzzles that you need to do to be able to get inside now thankfully all of these puzzles are pretty straightforward there's usually two to three different things that you have to scan and open up to be able to get inside you're gonna see the little purple thing which means we need to basically get up a little bit higher and we're gonna yoink this bad boy up like that and wham bam thank you ma'am we have now gained access to this location here from here, if we head north into Williamsburg, there's going to be another Prowler stash right here across from this bridge. All of these are going to be up on top of buildings. Like I mentioned, they're pretty hard to miss. The next Prowler stash is just a little bit farther north in Little Odessa right here. This is going to be quite a bit of a larger one, and I guess I lied, they're not all on top of buildings. A lot of the pieces are on top of buildings, though. Now, the great thing about all of these is not only are we going to be getting the special ability at the end of this, while we pick up all of these, we're going to be getting the rare tech parts, which is going to allow us to be able to upgrade all of our gadgets and suits as well. From Little Odessa, we're going to head north again across the bridge, and it's going to be another building with a Prowler stash here just next to the bay. After finishing up the Downtown Queen stash, you're going to head just a little bit northwest, right to the border of Astoria. There's going to be another large building uh, with a Prowler stash inside. Well, on it. To be able to complete this puzzle, we need to find four of these purple boxes and hit them all with electricity before the time runs out. Now, we're going to do this in order from top to bottom. So if you head to the top of this particular building, there's going to be a purple box up here. We need to hit it with Chain Lightning. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run to the edge. I think it's actually on this side, just right, right here. There's going to be another one. We're going to hit that with Chain Lightning. Then we're going to hop over to this edge here, back down to where the stash kind of opened up. There's going to be another purple box right here. And then the final one is actually on the door that we need to get to. Oh my god, there we go. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's unlocked. Now, there is a Prowler stash here on the Upper West Side. I believe this is the first one you do when you talk to Aaron for the first time and learn about the Prowler stashes. So the one we're going to go to next is in Midtown, and it's just south of the bridge that you can cross to be able to get to this location. From here, we're going to head southwest to Hell's Kitchen. Just on top of this building right here is going to be the next stash. Now, we just have to get one more Prowler stash, which is just south of here. And after completing this stash, we're going to actually be able to get one more that we can only get after completing all of the stashes that are openly available on the map. So after you finish this last one, you should get a quest to find just one more. After leaving the final stash and web slinging around for just a second, Miles is going to say that all of the stashes have been found, except for one that the suit is sinking to. So just head to that location to complete this whole quest line. Now, after completing this quest line, you're going to automatically be able to do this camouflage ability. If you don't know how to camouflage, you just kind of hit up on the D-pad, which allows you to go invisible, and your first hit will become empowered, allowing you to deal that extra damage. It's a pretty amazing ability for taking down larger targets or just kind of getting out of danger and doing a little bit of extra damage when you need to. And you'll end up with a ton of rare tech parts and XP as well. So it's a great way to level up and to get these rare tech parts to be able to upgrade all of your stuff. But I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.